Hi, this is Travis from the Air Gun Expo 21 with Air Gun Angie. Air Gun Angie. Today we got two products from our good friends up at Utah Air Guns. Thank you, JJ. <clears throat> We've got the Cayman X Bullpup and we got the Catron. These are checkmate guns. But first, yes. We have sponsors to thank. We do. You think we you have, can do that. We have, of course, the GTA, the Gateway Air Guns, are one of our main sponsors, and Air Guns of Arizona also one of our main sponsors and without those two companies none of this is possible yeah you'll find so, lots of awesome information at gateway to air guns and lots of great products at air guns of arizona yep. so here we are with the uh, utah air gun stuff um this is two products uh, that they sell no, go, go. Oh, okay i thought i heard thought i heard a little something out there okay this is two products that they sell these are very nice high-end products uh, out of the czech republic the machine work, the quality, the craftsmanship is a 10 out of a 10. It's, they're just fantastic looking and feeling. The, the actions on these guns are butter, just absolute butter. And the triggers, simply magnific magnificent two-stage triggers, fully adjustable. Um, I was just talking with JJ about this actual gun on the phone a little bit ago. Um, I was going to have him live last night, but he was out in a shooting match uh, doing speed silhouette and he was using this particular gun um, because it's light for one thing and it's very maneuverable and I think it's actually the lightest gun on the market right now. Um, but what's really important, it has a super, super short throw. So if you're in a speed silhouette, that's what you want, something you can rack and shoot, rack and shoot really fast and this gun being light and maneuverable. And with a short throw, perfect for speed silhouette. Show them the retractable um, stock. butt stock. Yeah. Yeah. So the, one of the one of the cool features about this gun is it has a retractable butt stock. Yeah. He told me it was a pistol. I watched him unbox it yesterday. He's like, <laughs> check this pistol out. And then he whipped yeah. that around. I, I fooled her. I fooled her. Yep. But anyway, yeah. So it flips right out, and it locks up really, really rigid. It's it's super good. The slightest bit of movement. How much do you think it weighs? You know, it probably weighs about as much as this bipod, <laughs> 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 which is an AccuTac that we got from Air Guns of Arizona. It's a fan, fantastic uh, uh, bipod. But no, I'm not sure what it weighs, but it is um, really, really light. And if, um, Justin, if you're watching, you know what the weight is, go ahead and um, go ahead and call in or um, shoot us a text online there and tell us. But yeah, feel it. It is. Oh yeah, it's super super light. Travis, yeah. What calibers is that, is that available in? Um, it comes in one seven seven through twenty five. Now there's several models of this Catron actually. Um, right now there's this model. Uh, they have a high powered model coming out that'll make um, what do you say sixty foot pounds in a twenty two. What? Yeah, and set and seventy five plus foot pounds in a twenty five. So they got a really rock and rolling uh, model coming out of the of the, of the Catron. Um, also with the Catron, it has a hammer spring adjuster right here. The, actually, the hammer's down in here, which is really unique. Um, well, because the you know the bottles here and the valves in here, so the hammer's in here, uh, hammer spring adjuster. So you can adjust uh, the hammer spring. They set the reg intentionally uh, about 150 bar, I believe. So it's it's high, which gives you a wide spectrum of adjustment, but it also gives you uh, a really short dwell time on the valve, which means it's re really uh, air stingy and makes it quieter because the, vel the valve shuts off so fast, which gives you a better lock time for people who know what that means other than me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, super great gun. Um, who he, makes it? Uh, this is made by Air Max out of um, the Czech Republic. Now, something about Air Max that maybe a few people know, um, they are a company, like I said, out of the Czech Republic that uh, was started by some guys that left uh, Air Gun Technology, AGT, who make the Vulcan and uh, a few other guns. So they've been around, you know. The, yeah, but the the I've not heard of them until like maybe over the last year. Yeah. I noticed them. Yeah. 
there, it seems to be a really wonderful gun, and I can't wait to get it on the range. We were supposed to shoot it today, but uh, it's blown like 412 miles an hour, I little think. A little exaggeration there, but pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> it's windy out there. It's super windy. But uh, so we didn't get to shoot this today, but hopefully tomorrow, if not tomorrow, definitely on Friday. The weather's looking super nice for Friday. So, Travis? Yes, sir. <clears throat> if everything goes well, I think what we've done is we've rearranged the schedule to have uh, all of the precision stuff uh, be able to shoot on Friday. On uh, Friday. Wind, so we'll wind shoot. looks 5 to 10 on Friday, so okay. it's basically all day. So be like an all-day range day uh, Friday. So definitely you guys are going to want to come back and catch that live as we'll be yeah. shooting all day. So that'll be a lot of fun. Right. Um, also on this gun, there's an accessory, and um, uh, Utah Air Guns has accessories for these, spare parts, spare magazines. But uh, this one has a bag rider set, set up on it for us. So we can, uh, when we're out there playing with it later, we can set the bag rider up and, uh, you know, get it flat for our shooting. That's cool. Yeah, it's, real, it's a really nice uh, feature. So what's the max fill pressure and how many shots per fill do you know this? You know, um, I think it's 300 bar on the tank. This is an IOCOM tank, so Intercom, I mean, uh, which a lot of people use. Yeah, I think it's uh, 300 bar. I do believe these. Can you see it? I got those yeah. old eyeballs. 382 bar is what it says. 382 bar. It sure does say that. That's pretty far up there. Um, I'll get, we'll get, you know, when we um, do the shooting on Friday, I'll get all that information. I'll call them back. This is a four, uh, 480 cc tank. Uh, it's DOT approved. The gun is regulated. Um, the regulator is inside the gun, so it's not externally adjustable. But like I said, they set it high enough where you have a wide window of adjustment. So you can adjust it way, <coughs> the hammer spring way down, so you can just plink or adjust the hammer spring way up and shoot the, uh, so fast pellets won't shoot out of it. You'll have to shoot slugs. So it, it's uh, got a lot of swing there in the hammer. Now Utah Air Guns, they, would they custom tune it for you and everything? How you? Yeah, do they'll it? custom tune it. Uh, their, their guys will set it up. They sent it to us with an Optison scope, which uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with them. They've been around a long time, and they make really, really good scopes. Actually, this one right here is one of my favorite, the EVX 5 to 25 power. It's a really, really good scope. Travis, can you make that gun in a little bit towards the other gun? Yeah. Are they lonely? Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's that over there? Okay, so this is something else that uh, JJ sent us. This will go on your rail like this, but face you this way. So it just screws on, thumb wheel. And I'm gonna turn it on so you can see it, and then we'll show it to the... Oh, how pretty. See how it changes colors? Yep. So what does that do? Well, this is a canting device. So if you're canting your gun, can you guys see that? Mm -hmm. Can you see it? Yeah, so if you're canting your gun, you can see if you're canting it left or right. And, and if you're any type of, if you're doing any kind of competition, canting your scope left or right will throw your, your pellet way out of whack uh, towards your point of aim. So canting bad, device good. <laughs> yeah, so this is, this is cool too. I mean, it's got, and you can adjust the color, the brightness of the LEDs. So you can make them dim or really bright. So That's if you're, really cool because yeah. I mean, a lot of shooters really don't realize they're doing that. So yeah, and it's a common it's a common is. problem, mm -hmm. and it's a common error uh, um, with all shooters, even mm -hmm. expert shooters, um, that just you know not paying a complete attention. And this this of course being LEDs right in your your eyesight, mm -hmm. you're going to notice right away. Yeah. And that's what it's for, just to remind you and and, and to confirm that you're square too. So it's a good uh, affirmation product. So that's the Catron. You want to switch? Yeah, let's switch. Okay. Jump right over there. I get the right side this time. Okay. Travis, quick question on that uh, yeah. that canting device. Is it able to be set up where it can go at either side? Uh, like for righty or lefty, can you move it so that it can go either way? 
It, no, I would say definitely not on this okay. one. But maybe they make a lefty. That would okay. be a cool feature. Yeah, I think they make they probably make a lefty, but this okay. one is definitely set up for the left side for a right hand shooter. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, but it's that's neat. I'm def I'm definitely going to get one of these um, as soon as uh, we're done here, because <laughs> that's a problem I, I suffer with myself too. You know, especially um, with shooting bullpups, especially because you know they're so top heavy. Uh, bull pups are really prone to canting. Um, that one's gorgeous. This is a gorgeous gun. This Cayman X. There's two Caymans. Um, the regular Cayman, which is quite a bit shorter and smaller than this. And then the Cayman X, the, this big one. So what caliber is that? Uh, this is a 22, And we'll be shooting this on Friday also. Now, one thing that's really, really special about these two guns is um they come with cz barrels and they, i don't know if you know anything about cz barrels but I they don't. they are like magic with pellets cz barrels are i've never shot a gun that had a cz barrel that didn't shoot great i'm kind of curious i'm looking at it and i'm thinking this thing looks like it would be really quiet they're both I'm really quiet this this gun in particular is super quiet um, we were just popping shots off with it me and joe from JSB Predator, um, and uh, I think we both really liked them, didn't we, Joe? And they were quiet. Brown, you know, the Patron, what I want. Yeah, Joe said he beautiful. wants this. Yeah, one. we. Yeah, I've been. Is beautiful. Give me the Patron. Yeah, yeah, that Patron's cool. I, I would probably, personally myself, because I, I like I like bull pups, I would probably take the Cayman, but in the small version, not the X, not the long one, because I like small compact guns. Yeah. Um, but they're super quiet, really quiet. You know, they're fully shrouded, and they have moderators. Um, they have, I believe, half 20. Um, the other thing, too, these have sections. You can add extra sections um, to um, the LDC to make it even quieter. Yeah, I left those in the case. Yeah. They actually came That's okay. It. That's okay. But, yeah, there's little sections. You can just add extra and extra and extra, like this one, until mm -hmm. you got enough until... It's quiet enough for whatever you're trying to do. Or maybe you don't need it that quiet and you want the gun shortened up. You can just spin them awesome. off. Yeah. Cool. So it gives you that option. But anyway, they do have the, the, the CZ magic barrels in them, which, which I'm really, really happy to hear that. Um, of course, they're magazine fed. The magazines are really well thought out. You know, they're simple drop and spin, drop and spin. You don't have to turn any windows or anything like that. The other thing, let me jump back over here, Angie. On the Catron, <clears throat> inside here is a little pin. You probably can't see it, but it's an anti-double feed device. So when you get here and uh, you fire a shot or you load one and maybe, no, did I load one or didn't I load one? After, after that, if you don't pull the trigger, it won't let you rack another shot so it has an anti-double feed system that's nice yeah that's and that's rare among pcp air rifles very very few pcp rifles have an anti-double feed system so that's that's really good and uh, you know if you double feed one i i know we've all done it like a oh yeah a bunch of times you know sometimes triple feed <laughs> but we've all done it i'm sure rick you've that done makes it you huh? a master air gunner right when you triple feed it yeah but it's there, we're learning about all kinds of things that we do uh to make us master air gunners we have uh accidental discharges we don't like to talk about that but no that, that, that is why eventually. that is why you need to have you know know where your muzzle's pointed and mm -hmm. know what's yeah. you know and you know what you might hit and what's behind it so all of these things with gun safety, you you are in this, especially for a business where you're having to work on things. Yeah, right. You never know what's going to come in the door. Right. So you got to maintain good good safety. But uh, yeah, I've double fed. I've done some crazy things. Triple? Oops. Have you triple fed? I'm trying to think. Of, actually, I think I did on a gun. I couldn't figure out why I couldn't hit anything. Yeah. Uh, and then realized so we nothing, have two nothing masters nothing was... in the house. Right. Hey, you know, you're, a, you're like the supreme master when you double feed your gun and then shoot your chronograph. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that I have not done. I've, I will leave that, uh, that, leave that to you. Of the yeah, I'm one of the easier. rare super masters, you know, but uh, it can be done. It can be done. <laughs> Travis, on these guns. So yes, sir. 
I mean, these are high-end precision guns. Yes, they're very high-end. What, what is the target market for these? Are these hunting guns? Are these bench rest guns? Are these both? Are these backyard-friendly guns? Where they're, do you see these really sitting in the market? Great, great questions. You know, and they're both, you know, upper, upper end price range guns. And if you want to know the prices, just go to Utah Air Guns and look them up. They're, they got all of them there. They got all the options and they've got um, scopes, rings, everything else, uh, maybe ammo, <laughs> uh, uh, for you to um, add to uh, the guns to make them what you, what you want them. But uh, to answer the question, yeah, they're they're upper end guns. They're you know well made. They're high quality. Um, this gun, super light, easy to maneuver. This would be a fantastic gun for walking around hunting and whatnot. Um, I, it, it doesn't have a lot of things hanging off of it that are going to get caught up in in branches and sticks and stuff right. and being lightweight and the ability to fold the butt stock up. You know, so easy makes it, you know, backpackable, yep. you know, really easy to take on the road and super light. So this, this is definitely a hunting gun, but um, because it has the CZ barrel and it's regulated, I imagine a bench, I imagine it'd be a great bench rest gun too. So either one. Yeah, I think this would do either. This on the other hand, you know, being a bull pup, bull pups are okay bench rest guns, but they're specifically designed for carry around use. Um, yeah, you could you could you know shoot it off a bench, but that's not really what bull pups are for. They're they're hunting guns. Random far. question. Yeah. Uh, on the this is a viewer question. Yeah. Uh, random question on the foldable stock. Can you fire it with the stock folded? Yeah. Okay. Just curious. Didn't know if you could do that. Yeah. Thanks. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I don't know why you'd want to do it, but you could. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. Just, yeah you yeah, never know. One of those, yeah, just some guns. I have some. Personally, I have a gun that's a takedown gun. And when you take the stock off, you can't fire the gun because right. the stock is actually providing tension to the handle now, springs. Now, did you say take it off and fire it? No, fold it no, up. Yeah, no, you can no, fold, fold it up and fire it. Yeah. Uh, but um, I think it's part of the actual physical part of the gun. So I, don't no, know just, you, I was just asking I don't think if you, you can, remove can fold it. it up and fire it. That's all I was going to say. Right, right, right. Yeah, so super well-made gun. Let me jump back over here, Angie. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't see you jump. No, I, I'm not a real – I jump real low. <laughs> you know, I'm a low jumper. <laughs> you, know, you heard the thing, white men can't jump. But uh, yeah, so here's a, <laughs> here's, here's a, you know, this is a forward cocking bull pup. He, he went there. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but anyway, so there's a forward cocking bull pup, which means you can, you know, actuate the uh, cocking device and, and feed your pellet without taking your eye off of the, uh, out of the scope. Yeah, less movement required for the Yeah, so shot. that's a really great feature. It has a two-stage fully adjustable trigger. It's super, super smooth. Um, I find that the less movement you have to make to cock the gun between shots actually helps you to be more accurate. Yeah, and, and especially accurate. if you're in a hunting situation, mm -hmm. you know, where you, you take a shot at the squirrel, let's say up in the tree, you miss, you hit a branch, or you didn't um, knock them down dead right there. You need to take a, another shot real quick. You don't have to hold the gun down, try to keep an eye on the squirrel and cock your gun and then, you know, try to find them again through the scope. Yeah. When you have a forward cocking gun like that, you could keep keep an eye on them in the scope. Get another one out there. Yeah. Yeah. Super important. Beaut beautiful stock. The stock is gorgeous. Hopefully the colors are, and stuff are coming through on this. It's, do we got it? Are we up here? Yes. Yep. Okay, so, um, yeah, it's just pretty as all can be. And if you go to their website, um, I think there's some different color options too, but this this is really, really pretty. I'm not sure what it's made out of. It looks like Prettiness. wood. It looks like wood, but I don't know. <laughs> it's got grain in it, <laughs> but I, can't, I, I just can't imagine them making a wood into these shapes, but I don't I know. I think it's wood. Do you? That, yeah, I, I think, think it so is. too. But boy, it would have took a lot of work to make it's this shape, wood. you know. Yeah, it's got to be it wood. It looks like wood. Yeah. It feels like wood. So have you ever been to their store? I haven't. Uh, haven't? And JJ keeps asking me to come up and visit them, and, and I promise I am. And maybe during his uh, shooting event, I'll come up and, and see him and say hi. Um, another thing on um, both guns, another feature, um, the cocking lever can be switched to either side. 
And, you know, for those lefties out there, you know, the oddball. They didn't leave you out. Guys, you know, feel for you. Both guns, you can switch it either way. And here's the thing, too. When I'm sitting on a bench, I like it on this side. I like to cock it on the left side when I'm on a bench. But when I'm out in the field, I like to cock it on the other side because I like to have the gun held in my hand. You're just a weirdo. I am a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an oddball. Um, you can degas the guns. This is the degassing tool for the Catron. It goes up in here. You got to take the hammer spring out. You spin it in, and you can take the uh, bottle off or take the gun apart, whatever you want to do after degassing it. Um, you can do the same inside the, uh, the Cayman. Um, the Cayman, to uh, do any kind of spring adjustments, I do believe you have to take the, the stock section, uh, either top or lower section of the stock off to get to it. Uh, Catron, uh, you don't. It's, it, it's external. Angie, yeah. did you say you've been to the store? And if so, where is it? Tell us a bit about it. It yeah. is, well, I was in Saratoga Springs. I don't know if it's considered. It's Mapleton. Mapleton, okay. Yeah, I was out there visiting, and Thaddeus Moore saw that I was out there, and in, he invited me over to check the store out. And it's, it's awesome. I mean, they've got a big showroom with yeah. all kinds of awesomeness in it. And then they have an indoor range, and I think the max distance was like 30 yards. But they've got all kinds of different targets in there. I got to shoot lots of FX guns, and it was, it was a lot of fun. So thanks, Thaddeus. They're located in Springville, Utah. Springville, Springville Utah. yeah. That's Springville, right. Utah. I knew that. I don't know why I didn't say anything. But uh, <laughs> I have a question, Travis. Yes, on, sir. On these guns. So um, you're a tinkerer. I on am. the and Of course, I'd tear them right apart as soon as yeah, I got Yeah, them. but besides that, you're... I don't the, recommend that for anybody. <laughs> yes. The gun on the left there. Um, this one? No, no, my left. Your other one? You're left? right. Um, <laughs> that one. Is, is that really designed for somebody to tinker with, to change up, to modify, or is it really designed to just be what it is out of the box? I, I, it's really, and this is a thing that AGT, Air Gun Technology, um, is known for. They really set them up, just shoot them as you get them. And so those same guys that work there, that now work with Air Max, set these up the same way. They don't want you messing around with them a whole lot. You can adjust, you know, the velocity up and down, of course, but they just leave them as they are. They're they're really good, just as they are, as they come from the factory. So these aren't your typical tinkering kind of guns, uh, or uh, you know, they're they're high, and most high-end guns are like that too. You know, I don't if a day state or anything, you don't really need to mess with them. They're high-end. They're set up. They're ready to go. Yeah. And a lot of, you void the warranty on a lot of them if you do that, That's right, right. that's right. So, probably just best to send them back and, yeah, like Airgun, Airgun, um, Utah Airguns has the custom shop and. Yeah, they'll set it up the, for you. Yeah. And, and that's the experience that they want you to have too. They want you to, you know, get it, not have to mess with it, um, put air in it and pellets and go have fun. And that's, that's what these guns are all about right you here. You know, what I thought was really cool, and I had talked to somebody previously about this, is there's so many air guns on the market that it's really mm -hmm. hard to decide which one to buy. But if you go to Utah Air Guns, they have the indoor range. You can go in there and you can shoot some of them and see which mm -hmm. one you like. So that's a really cool feature at Utah Air Guns. Yeah, that's true. And they've got that huge outdoor range, too. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, where they have the competitions, um, you know, the RMAC and everything. Um, yeah, I think that pretty much tells us about everything we need to know about these two new wonderful guns from uh, Utah Air Guns, uh, made by Air Max and the Czech Republic. Once again, both regulated. They both come with CZ barrels. Yeah. They're both moderated, shrouded, have f fabulous adjustable two-stage triggers. I can't wait to shoot them. I em. can't wait to shoot them on Friday, right? Will I get to shoot them? Yeah, I think we're all going to shoot them. Angie, I think, I think we'll you all... will. You can have my spot, Angie. Yeah. If Travis Aww. is, if Travis won't give up any trigger time. That's not going to happen. You can have my spot. No, Hopefully we're all going to. There's gonna... more than three spots available. We, yeah, we're going to we're going to spend some time shooting with these guns. With the rearranging of the schedule, I think it's going to work pretty good for us to have more range time, and that'll be awesome. Yep. Yeah, I can't wait to shoot this guy right here. Um, and, and this one too, you know, they're both, they're two totally different 
So I Joe loves one. this one. Joe and loves you that one. I, I like this one, but I'd want it in the compact version for something me. For but everyone. that's but Sweet. that's the options you have, though, right? Mm -hmm. So there's something for everyone, yep. which is which is really nice. Yep. All right, guys. I think that's it for uh, Utah Air Guns. Two new guns until we uh, get them to the range. So thank you very much, and thank you for our sponsors, Air Guns of Arizona, and of course, Gateway to Air Guns. And thank you, JJ, at uh, Utah Air Guns for sending these guys, and we'll be shooting them. Oh, wait. We have the peanut gallery. No, I was just saying, let's not forget the official pellet of Air Gun Expo. Yeah, the official pellet of Air Gun es Expo. Expo. Wow. Predator, predator, predator pellets, pellets. man. We got to give Joe some love, man. He's out here showing up, bringing us some pellets My to buddy shoot. My Joe. And Joe, he... he Joe loves that gun. Oh, I love this. this in fact, Justin said that was mine. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> you know, Joe, JJ is a pretty good friend of mine. I got him on my speed dial, so. Well, I got him right here. That's what you're saying. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, we'll 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 call him and just verify that. We'll verify that. But we might see a fight. Well, no, I'm not fighting for anybody for an air gun. If he wants to take it, I'm just going to let Justin know about it. <laughs> so that's it. I think that's it until we get to shoot these bad boys. Yep. And uh, like I said, they this they both come with scopes on them, ready to go. The Optisun, the Athlon over here. Did, we good? I thought we. No, no, no. I was just just, I was scratching, just scratching your head. My head. The yeah. only thing I do, I'll go ahead and help you guys wrap this up, is uh, catch us tonight because we're going to be talking about stuff. Uh, the the roundtable wrap up we'll oh, have oh, tonight. That's, that also, JJ's going to be on the roundtable tonight. Is he? Okay. Yeah. Well, we got to make sure we get him scheduled in. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. We need to give him a call, give him the time and shoot we'll, him the, we'll the link for the Zoom. Well, that'll be awesome. Have him on here. We can, he can tell us more about his guns. That'll be great. Yeah. Yeah. That will be great. All right, guys. So I'm I'm Rick way over here. I'm not Rick's on camera. So there. just mouth it like you know what I'm going to say, Travis. All right. Uh, is... Yeah. Thank you for joining us. We will be back here uh, with another studio segment. I think we're going to grab some lunch. And yeah. then uh, Hungry. We're going to get set up, do some more studio work. And then the next couple of days, we're going to be shooting a ton of air guns. So you bet. Guys, if you want to know the schedule, because it keeps changing, check out our website, www.theairgunexpo.com. See you guys. All right. This have a great day. Travis. See y'all. Ha, 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 ha.